Thank you, Lord. Welcome to Greenland. That's where in the world we are this week. Thanks to an invitation from two of my outfitter friends from Europe. Joining me today also is a good friend of mine. I've hunted with him in Russia and now in Greenland, Mr. Keith Kellogg. And the musk ox hunt is underway. Say it again. My name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life. Guiding, outfitting, and hunting. Where in the world? 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Bicho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado. Back, welcome to New Zealand. Where in the world? I just love it so much. I'm going to keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I'd take the whole world hunting. Welcome to Greenland. That's where in the world we are this week. Thanks to an invitation from two of my outfitter friends from Europe. I've hunted with Scandinavian pro hunters before in Scotland, England, Sweden. I ran into them at the Dallas Safari Club this past year. A great place to catch up with your friends is SCI, Dallas Safari Club, all the outdoor conventions, a great place to meet up. And that's what brought us here today. While we were at the convention, they said, how would you like to join us on a brand new operation we're opening up in Greenland for muskox? And I just smiled. That's like asking a five-year-old, would you like to go to the candy store? Obviously, I said yes, and here we are. On a brand new operation, they're opening up in Greenland for muskox. Joining me today also is a good friend of mine. I've hunted with him in Russia and now in Greenland, Mr. Keith Kellogg. And the musk ox hunt is underway. Don't it rain here a lot? And the guy goes, yeah, it does. I'm like, oh, that's why you ain't got no covers on. He goes, I guess so. And he was serious. <laughs> later than where I here. Thank you, Lord. And it ain't raining. Seven hours from Dallas to Iceland. 13 hours in the airport. And then about two and a half hours over here. And what we're hunting 
beside the sunshine and dry spot in Motel Shower. Where in the World is Colorado Buck is brought to you by Norma Ammunition, precision ammunition for the serious hunter. Nikon Optics, trust earned Nikon. Midway USA, just about everything for shooting, hunting, and the outdoors. Worldwide Trophy Adventures, the Mule Deer Foundation, Kenetrek Boots, Explorer Satellite Communications, and the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment brought to you by Midway USA. Just about everything for shooting, hunting, and the outdoors. Here we are, Kanger Shoe Saw, and that's what we come for. <laughs> it starts right now. Camp. It wasn't a very long or bad ride to camp. Very scenic. Seen a lot of animals. Reindeer, musk ox, seen a lot of singles, seen some small groups. I thought we were gonna go a long ways, but we ended up here probably 45 minutes maybe. That's all. The deal is navigating the river, I've already found out. Not everybody you got to know exactly where to be in the river and when because the, the rivers, the river bottom is highs, lows, big long flats and there's just the channel changes. You got to know just where to go and apparently you don't see many if any locals up in here because navigating that channel it seems to be the art of getting here. But they got us here so that's good. Hey, I went to Russia last year in shorts, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Colorado. The head guide here is named Karsten. He's kind of a big, burly, kind of a man's man guy. Two of his children work here in the camp with him and some of his other family friends. They run a top-notch camp. He's done this his whole life. He's been in this country and hunted this game since he was a boy. And it's fun to listen to him tell some of the stories from years back, just like it would be anybody that you was around that's done something their whole life. He's really a treat and he's an added attraction to the camp. I know if you get here, you're gonna enjoy meeting him and the whole staff.
there's musk ox here. The bad news, we'll just call it sad for right now. Tomorrow's hunting season. <laughs> I got a feeling there'll be something hitting the ground tomorrow. I hope so. <laughs> Follow Colorado Buck and all his adventures on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Where in the World is Colorado Buck? This segment brought to you by Norma Ammunition, precision ammunition for the serious hunter. My name is Keith Kellogg. I'm from Washington State. Yeah, we were boating up river and the, the one boat with our lead guide, Karsten, was in front of the boat that I was in. And he just happened to spot a muskox laying on the edge of a hill just above the river. I don't know if, if it's a good one or something, but it had the right color. So. Let's take a look, see? Yeah. So we backed out of there, circled back around and, and beached the boats. And then we got organized and uh, we're a pretty large hunting party reference to guides other hunters so we basically worked our way up on the top of this uh, ridge a uh, little hill and there was nine of us i believe in our group so it wasn't small by any means and it's wide open and uh, karsten and i are out front and we're working across the little ridge top and all of a sudden he just stops and he looks over there and he can see the the uh, hair waving it was blowing pretty hard the hair waving from the uh, back end of the muskox which is laying on this side hill and he's, he looks up to the glasses and stuff, everybody locked up at that point. So we're sitting there and kind of waiting, all of a sudden the musk ox stands up and turns and looks at us and he just looks at me. He's a very focused hunter and an excellent guide. And he said, that's a good one. Good. It was an amazing experience that happened really fast and uh, to share it with a group of hunters that I was with was made it even better. Again, thank you Colorado. I've traveled a lot of places. I've met a lot of outfitters, a lot of people, personalities, different walks of life and there is differences. But when you get with people that truly love doing what they do, you're going to have a good time and you're going to have a good experience because they're doing a good job. Sometimes the young guys uh, have very good trophies, two long horns and beautiful bosses, good okay. coat. Okay, so, so you want to try to get closer? Let's let's have a look at him. Guess that he's eight years old. Eight? Yeah, but huge boss. The one, the one that's just coming over that ridge? Yeah. coming down, ain't they? Walking their way down. And also the link of the horn is put in the lower one. Oh, there's three right below us, I didn't see. That's good, yeah? That is a good one, yeah. I can't 
can see from where I'm at. See old. That one to the right. Yeah. It's about nine years old. Okay. But very good trophy. Okay. Yeah. Up, I'm gonna show you. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by Norma Ammunition, precision ammunition for the serious hunter. Nikon Optics, trust, earned, Nikon. Midway USA, just about everything for shooting, hunting, and the outdoors. Worldwide Trophy Adventures, the Mule Deer Foundation, Kenetrek Boots, Explorer Satellite Communications, and the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment brought to you by Nikon Optics. Trust. Earned. Nikon. As soon as he stands up, I'm going to shoot. Thank you, sir. You do good, you old walrus hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hey. Ooh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, bless your heart. Carson, thank you, sir. Very good stock. Very good stock. All right. <laughs> Keith, what do you think about that? My goodness. Thank you, Lord. How about that, buddy? You know, it's hard to believe that somebody might think, well, after this long, after way over 30 years that you can still go out and, and hunt and go places and have fun i'm telling you that you can and i'm telling you that even if you've hunted a species before if you go to a different country a new place and hunt them you'll have a brand new experience and a brand new respect for that animal the way of life wherever it is that you go the people that's there their cultures and the trophy this is my second trip to greenland and the one thing that I found out for sure, if you come to Greenland, you're gonna love it. If you want to go to Europe to have a good time and uh, do some nice hunting, we have so much to offer. We have uh, here in Greenland, for example, we have a fantastic camp. Uh, and I think everyone will enjoy that to, to experience this and, and all the nature all around here. The thing that we are doing mainly now is that we are buying hunts uh, hunt the hunting rights on different properties, you can say. We don't have that tradition in Sweden. Normally it's more that people is employed. But now we are buying the hunting rights from the big landowners, which means that we can get the best areas and therefore the best trophy animals. As a holiday hunt, we call it, that where it's very suitable to bring a non-hunter along so that we can combine it with staying in some good old castles, doing some nice sightseeing in the different places in Europe and since it's so easy to travel around in Europe uh, people doesn't realize that but for us it's only take one hour to with a flight from Sweden to England or to Poland or to France so it's a very nice combination instead of staying the whole time in Sweden we start up the hunt in Sweden for two three days where they apart from the hunt can come in a few days before and do some sightseeing and get the experience of Sweden then we are flying over to England and then perhaps ending up in Scotland after some Scottish red stag and some highland hunting. 
So the, the diversity that we have in Europe make both the hunters get lots of different trophies in different terrain, but also the non-hunters will see lots of and get lots of experience of different cultures. I think uh, even if you're a lady or if you're a man, uh, it, it doesn't matter because I think all of you will enjoy this. And if you have any uh, thoughts about it, just uh, call us and uh, we will sort it out for you and uh, give you a good chance to have a fantastic hunt. That's a wrap for this week. I hope you enjoyed Greenland. Please catch us next week somewhere in the world for a brand new one. Until then, God bless every one of you and good hunting. Close captioning provided by Rocky Top Outfitters. Book your hunt with Colorado today at heycoloradobuck.com. We'll see you on the hunt. This, the pants, the outer shell with the belt was under. Book your hunt with them. And it's compactable compressed. That's, that's the thing for your family too. Oh yeah. Put all that, packed all that stuff.